Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I've got funny marks on my face, uh, which my, my missus finds hilarious, but what can I do with mask life, eh? So I'm back in Genoa Marina Aeroporto. Well, as it's now known, just Genoa Marina, or Marina Genoa, because it used to be called Maren Marina Genoa Aeroporto, but I noticed last time I was here that they've taken down the Aeroporto sign. It's super cold today. The, uh, the, the, my app says it's 12 degrees, but the wind chill factor is not taken into account. It's super, super cold on the old fingers. And uh, yeah, I have to have my, I can't put gloves on because I'm filming, right? So I have to operate my camera. So anyway, uh, Royal Falcon 1 still here. As far as I know, it's still for sale. I tried to contact the people who run it and the crew and stuff like that and got nothing. I uh, got tumbleweeds. So, if you're watching this, if you know if it's still for sale and they want to have a, somebody come on and do a, a, a video, get in touch with me, put a comment below or you contact me through the email address that's uh, connected to my uh, YouTube channel. So I didn't recognize this at first by the name or by the design, but this is, um, this is called Moti Yacht Baraka. And this was built, as you can see on the side, it says that this was built by Protexan Turquoise. Now, in 2010, this was built. Now that was a year before Moti Yacht Yogi was built. And if you watch my videos, uh, you'll, uh, you'll know all about Yogi, right? So Yogi sank, it's the largest super yacht to ever sink. And it sank not long after it was built. This is a sister ship. This was the previous build. So there was three, I mentioned in the video, I'll put a link in, uh, above in case you haven't seen it, but in the video I talk about those three vessels that they built. The first one was called Baraka, the second one was called Turquoise, after Protex and Turquoise, and the third one was called Yogi. Now Yogi was bigger than this one and they, they added a, a, an extra deck and they added a lot of weight onto it and that was part of the reason why it sank I think. Uh, it still has Protex and Turquoise written on the side which is strange because after the accident, the, vet, the, the shipyard uh, went into new ownership and they changed the name to Turquoise Yachts. So this was one of the last vessels to be called, um, uh, to have the name Protoss and Turquoise on it. And if you look on their website, actually Turquoise Yachts website, uh, Yogi's not on there for some reason. All the, all the vessels are listed in order of how they built them and there's a gap between uh, this uh, Talisman Sea as the one built after. Uh, they don't mention that one on uh, strangely. Okay guys, if you saw my recent news video and I talked about Force Blue, well, here it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's docked in uh, Marina Genoa Aeroporto or Marina Genoa, whatever you want to call it. It's been here in Italy since 2010. I mean, the owner is Italian, uh, but it wasn't originally based here. I believe it was based in La Spezia or that's where it was arrested for uh, non-payment of fuel. Uh, there's quite a few comments in the comment section about why didn't you just pay the bill? Uh, it's, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Uh, Flavio Briatore has got a history of fraud. I think it's his middle name. Go, go back to the 80s. He was convicted for faking uh, card games. He would invite rich people to his house or to a, a location and he would have a number of people to play cards. So they were all fictional characters that he'd arranged and he had fake cards that, uh, that they could uh, figure out, you know, numbered cards or whatever they call it, trick cards and he would rip people off for millions. He was convicted and he was given a two year prison sentence. And then he fled to, um, to, the, uh, to St. Thomas. And he lived there as a fugitive for, for a while until, the, uh, until he managed to get the sentence overturned. And it wasn't until 2010, this was in the late 80s, it wasn't until 2010 he was actually um, freed by the court. You know, they, they said his, he was rehabilitated which was, which was uh, does not seem like it was the truth. Um, the reason why he was given this big VAT bill is because the, ch the boat was registered as a charter vessel, but then it, it, they started to suspect that he wasn't chartering it at all and he was living on it. 
and uh, so he was registered as a charter vessel and the way you buy fuel uh, when you're a charter vessel is slightly different to the way you buy fuel when you're living on board or if it's a private vessel generally you if you buy like if i if this was my boat and i buy fuel here in italy today i have about 60 days to leave the eu or i'm liable to pay tax on this vessel on the on the fuel so what generally people do is they, they either buy fuel just before they go across to the Caribbean or, or when they're going to go somewhere like Montenegro or Gibraltar or Tangier or somewhere outside of the EU and then they're not liable then they can stay overnight and then they can come straight back that's the that's the way they get around it um, he didn't do that he had a because he was registered as a charter vessel he had slightly different rules and he broke those rules because he was suspected of just living on board and not actually chartering it out so he was also after after this this arrest of the vessel, uh, he was also given another prison sentence in 2014 for fraud. And uh, yeah, so he's not. Uh, it's not as simple as he just had an outstanding bill on the vessel for five million and he didn't pay it because you know he paid 70 million for this uh, when he bought it. And that's why in the original video I said it, it was he was sold for a fraction of the original cost because. Uh, it, the value of this vessel now is around 20 million but he paid 60, 67.2 million for it and Bernie Eccleston bought it at auction on the 27th of this month of January for 7.4 million so uh, that is quite the bargain but if you're an F1 fan or if you know about F1 you'll know that Bernie Eccleston and Flavio Briatore they go way back so the fact that uh, he bought it assuming that they didn't have a bit major falling out and he did it to spite him i would say that most likely you might see flavio back on this vessel at some point in the future uh, whether or not it stays in eccleston's name and and he gives it to flavio to use whenever he wants i don't know but uh that's the way i suspect it went i might be wrong but uh time will tell i suppose right there is there are some signs on the vessel that it has not been looked after uh the way it would be and, and that's to be expected, right? If they impound your yacht um, and you, you don't have access to it, it's not like you're gonna keep spending out millions on it every year to keep the upkeep, to do the, uh, you know, all the maintenance. Very often, as soon as a new ownership takes place, they move it to a preferred location or they take it into a dry dock and start working on it. But we'll see, time will tell. I've been, I've been checking on it every day to see if it's still here. And as of the end of January, the 31st of January today, there it is. great when I first got here it was quite cloudy and uh, and it was freezing cold I think I mentioned it at the beginning of the video and um, now the winds dropped and the sun's come out and it's actually turned into a, into quite a nice day uh, I'm, I'm, I was actually tempted to take off my hat but uh, I've got uh, lockdown hair right now uh, I haven't had my hair cut since September last year and uh, it's a bit out of control so um, I think I'll just keep my hat on for now guys look at this boat on the road interesting just say so I just wanted to show you this Marina Genoa now it used to say Marina Genoa Aeroporto but uh, they seem to have got rid of the airport section of it I think that might have been because uh, it didn't sound exactly alluring for yacht owners to want to dock at the airport so yeah quite interesting but anyway I'm going to it's very strange I've been here for a few hours and it's been completely deserted and then all of a sudden in the last half an hour it got super busy so uh, i'm bidding a retreat and uh and uh, i'll end the video there hope you enjoyed this uh, let me know in the comments what you think of uh, if you, anyone's out there wants to buy that baraka boat and uh, let's talk about it in the comments all right guys thanks for watching bye bye